High school basketball teams in Washington and Oregon are basking in the afterglow of earning trophies during the state tournaments over the weekend. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was invited out to Banks, where the home of the Braves is also now home to the first time 3A state champs. First place is the best place to be. Now the Banks girls high school basketball team knows exactly how that feeling is for the first time in Braves history. <laughs> Alert the good people of Banks. The top seed of Brave girls are forever number one. <laughs> While the Braves OSAA 3A dream was obtained on the coast, Sunday saw those country roads take them home in grand style. That's Banks. It's just a small town and everybody loves each other and I'm just so happy to call this town my town. It just shows how much the community comes together and like supports each and every person in the community. I actually believe even if we would have got second, they still would have showed up and supported us and how well we did. The champs returned from Coos Bay with their first big blue trophy in tow. <laughs> After defeating Coastal Range League rival Corbett in a classic final for the Pirate Palace, of Marshfield High. We went 28 and 2 and the two losses that we had were against Corbett. They are they are a tough team. They're really good. I'm still so shocked and I'm just so proud of every single one of my teammates and we went out there and we played our best game yet. The five member senior class has been together for what seems like always and that's how it'll always be in the 102 year history of Banks High. It really brought us even closer even after through everything. It was just an awesome experience and I'm so glad that we were able to do it together. These guys can be able to remember this moment for the rest their lives. Nick Rezzo is in his third stint as head coach after arriving on the scene in 2000. He's just been such a big support. He's been almost like a father figure to all of us. The 23 year PE teacher stepped away four years ago when his late wife Stacy was battling cancer. When I got back to, you know, in my room kind of by myself, it's uh, not gonna lie, it hit me. It hit me pretty good. And, uh, had some had some quiet moments and just just kind of soaked it all in. Her dream for you came true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did, man. I mean, I know she was she was watching last night. I, I I felt it, you know. I felt her presence when I stepped down last time as head coach. You know, I did it. I did it to help help her and, and my young kids out, and um, I, it was the right thing to do at the time. And I, I would do it over and over every single time. She said, "You need to be coaching high school basketball again, and if that opportunity ever arises." Take it and roll with it, and um, I mean, here we are. To do it the first year back's just, wow, well, I don't know. It, it kind of feels like fate a little bit. It was three years ago when the Banks boys won their first ever program championship for hoops. Now the girls can slide right in here in the trophy case as well, and the boys program did come back from Coos Bay with the trophy as well. Sixth place. Here in Titletown, one more time, Banks High, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon. Uh, wonderful to see the victory there. Uh, thanks so much, Nick, for that story.